My name is Andy Thurl. I am secretary and a trustee of the National Heritage Ironwork Group. I'm also owner of Iron Arts, a metalworking business based here in Bath. National Heritage Ironwork Group, the NHIG, is a charity dedicated to raising awareness about historic ironwork to promote good conservation practice um, within the industry, um, to the general public and also to the wider conservation world. Bath's full of ironwork. Um, it's a world heritage city. It's a great place to be showcasing heritage skills. So fundamentally, we wanted to have something that was representative of the city's ironwork. Um, but we also wanted to do a fully modern piece. So being a bandstand, um, an obvious theme to go along was uh, music. And then I thought, well, wouldn't it be amazing if we could create a piece of music that we then represented in iron? We spoke to Bath Bar University Music Department to instigate the competition. Jake Garrett, um, the composer, created a piece of music based on an old English folk tune um, and he titled his piece Hammer and Anvil. So within the school we wanted to invite recognised masters of the craft to produce their own panels based around music um, as a sort of added interest and it gave us the focal point of the, the main event which was to have the masters there forging their panels live around the bandstand. So on the Thursday night to welcome all the blacksmiths to the city and the sponsor that has helped us, uh, we were given the Roman bars and a civic reception uh, and that was a really special moment. You know, all the blacksmiths really responded to that. They hadn't sort of expected uh, to be in such grand surroundings. So once the masters started making their panels, it, it was uh, a great feeling to just, you know, hear the noise of hammer on anvil you know, the masters briefing their teams, some of them had never met before, but by the end of the two days, kind of all best buddies, and uh, to see what they produce in that short period of time, you know, is, is quite incredible. We had an amazing team of 20 students from the National School of Blacksmithing in Hereford. So the main thing that I loved about the, the whole project was the actual Bath Iron event itself. Um, being able to work with master blacksmiths as a third year student and getting to know those people, uh, working alongside them as a peer instead of just a student was amazing. And then to have lots of crowds turning up, you know, that was as much as we could have wished for. And over 240 children had a go at forging that the finial that adorns the bandstand now, you know, was part made by the, the children of Bath. So for the general public, it wasn't just coming down to see some blacksmiths hit a bit of metal. It was a whole educational experience. In the Guildhall, we had uh, four days of talks going on and that went really well. It's, it's always great to have, I, I guess, a bit of a cerebral side to um, a very practical event. It's just fun to make stuff, to forge. And yeah, I've, that's really, uh, touched me to seeing how much people want to just yeah give to a project like this and it's it wouldn't have happened without that. Those, those basic uh, traditional skills are very very important to keep them going to pass on those skills to the youngsters and whether they then move into a heritage field or a contemporary field is actually irrelevant because those skills will still be needed and still move forward. What I love about it is I love the fact that it's going to be here for a long time, long after I've gone. The fact that everything else has got a bit of gilding on it, it just pulls the whole thing together, doesn't it, as a, as a piece of work. Even though the designs are so different, it, it is obviously one piece of work, which is fantastic. Not only did we have to finish making the balustrade, but obviously we needed to finish it. You know, we didn't want to put it out there um, just to rust, so we had it galvanised, then we had uh, to paint it and as part of the painting process we had a painting party so all the little detail painting around the notes um, that was done by volunteers that came down to the painting party. So if you're going to do a project like this you need a big celebration at the end of it that's how we felt. Uh, we created Fire Folk and that was to be the grand opening of the balustrade on the bandstand. Local folk bands came down to help create a proper foot stomping atmosphere. Uh, we had a bar um, food concessions and live blacksmithing um, and a great time was had by all.